Hi, this is Mike. I've uh, been making parts today for a customer job. Um, uh, this is uh, this is one side of it. Basically, these are uh, two and an eighth by two inches. Going to be half an inch thick. This uh, radius has to be on both sides. And then this side, whoop, this side gets a uh, one eighth radius on the outside, and the same one eighth radius on this side, and it's faced to. Uh, the whole thing's half an inch, so this part's a quarter. Um, these are kind of a pain to hold, so the only reason I'm filming this is I thought I'd show um, a step, a 5C step collet. Uh, I don't know if you see these too often. So this is uh, a step collet, otherwise known as an emergency collet. Um, basically, they're blank. They come in a bunch of different sizes, up to four or five, maybe six inches. Um, so a lot of them are smaller, and basically you bore these out to whatever the job requires. Um, in this case I've got a board uh, two inches and a little over a quarter inch deep so that these will just drop in there nice. Now we can touch off of here as our datum and get a quarter inch and then um, all of our operations. I've got uh, three of these to do so we're gonna use the um, SDM sub datum uh, feature of the DRO and uh, so we can once we set up the tooling on one we can just go tool one, tool two, tool two and tool three um, for each each piece and knock them out really quick. So I just thought I'd show that really quick uh, since I haven't seen anybody do it. I'm sure it's out there. I just haven't seen it yet. So uh, let's uh, switch our collet out. Get started real quick. Oops. So like any anything else you put in here, it should always be clean. And I put a light light coating of oil on these as well just to make sure that they're good. And there we go. Get this started. Trying a new camera mount, so we'll see how this works. I don't know. Anyway, just pop those in there. I just give it a light tap to make sure it's seated all the way. Give it a little snug, and then that's good. So our first tool is going to be to cut it to length. So let me see here. Reposition the camera to show the tool. Whoa, let's see, let's try that again. Okay. I think that shows up on there. It's a new camera mount, I'm not sure. So basically I'm just gonna come up and touch the tool. Just, just touch it up against the collet, and, and the, the tolerances on this are not very tight. You know, plus or minus five thousandths is fine. Um, it's really cosmetic. So anyway, my DRO, which I wish I had two cameras, but I don't. My DRO is set on um, tool one. So I'm going to zero the y-axis and uh, go out. 250 and then re-zero it and we're going to call that our zero so that every piece I put in here we move it in to tool one move y to zero and it will always be exactly a quarter inch so let's just lock that off real quick
Okay, so there's our first tool. And we've got a quarter inch there. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll change to our next tool, which is, if I can find it, So this is a uh, this is an actually it's a milling machine uh, corner rounding end mill, but it's uh, it's got a one eighth radius and they actually work really good on the lathe. Um, this is these two this tool holder has the uh, has a little groove in the bottom for holding boring bars and other round things like end mills. Oh, and I knocked the camera off. So let me pause. All right, we'll try this again. I. Uh, I've smacked the camera with the uh, quick change release, so that wasn't cool. Um, didn't fall on the floor, thankfully. Anyway, so this is our uh, our uh, rounding roundover end mill, and to set this, and um, I have definitely seen stuff on how to use these before. Um, Tom's technique, yeah, Tom's techniques website has a good video on it. Um, but basically, what I'm going to do is, for this front edge, anyway, basically I'm going to bring the edge of this just, to just touch the interface. I'm going to zero my DRO. And next I'm going to put it on tool 2 before I do that on the uh, diameter, which I already, I just screwed up the first one. So... I screwed up. I have to reset tool one again. Anyway, that was the whole point of doing this, so I didn't have to do that, but I forgot to change it. Anyway, I'll touch it. Zero, and then I'm going to back it off two thousands or so, and zero it again. And then to do the inner part, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but of course it's got to be running. And I want it just in the inside of this. So we'll turn it on. Just bring it till it just, just scrapes. Okay, it's just scraping. Make sure, double check it. Okay, we're just touching. So I'll zero my X. I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to go in about two thousandths and then zero. So that way I leave a little bit of clearance. So then this actually works pretty good after that. We'll go in to our depth at zero, lock the carriage, and then just bring it out until we run into the zero on the X. And we'll have our radius. A little WD-40 since it's a big form tool and it'll want to chatter. I hope that all shows up. Yeah. I just keep backing this out until I get to zero on the VRO for this particular tool right there and I think let's see here if we can see this if you can see it actually keeps a really nice nice radius on there so I'm gonna now we've got to move to our third tool which should be here somewhere Oh, I think I took it out of a tool holder. Let me find it and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to find the tool. I don't I have like a dozen tool holders. It's still never, not enough. Anyway, this is uh, our uh, outside radius tool. You can see it's been used quite a bit. But it's still good. Um, this gets bead blasted afterwards, so it's not super pretty. It's a 1 8 by quarter inch tool, little bitty guy. Um, these are 5 8 tool holders, so I, stick a, I just stick a piece of 3 8 high speed underneath it to mount it up. And uh, got to try to get it in here pretty straight, otherwise, the radius is off. So, let's 
when you get a small square. Let's see if we can't put a square on this and get it reasonably lined up. Uh, I don't know. Let me see here. I did this off the tool hold hold hold. I'll be back. I'm gonna line it up off the tool post. Okay, I got my tool mounted. I was not thinking, I just stuffed it all the way in there. That way it's flush up against the inside. Anyway, uh, we've got to get it center height. This is our height gauge I made a while back. It's just brass. It's, uh, I did make it very precise to line up with the center line of the lathe so I can lay them on top or touch them off underneath and uh, get some on center pretty quick. borrowed this idea from I think a post on the uh, Hobby Machinist forum. And that looks good. Normally this just stays set up, but I hadn't made one in a while and now I did. Anyway, so that's good. So we're going to touch off on this the same way as uh, the other side. Tool 3 this time so I don't mess it up. And you know what? I screwed up. That's why I had the tool out further. It doesn't clear the collet. Alright, I'm going to try this again. Actually, uh, let's see here. I got an idea. Maybe this will work. Maybe it will show up. So I'm just going to loosen this and then stick this piece of round, just this tool behind it. That will hold it out and keep it parallel. That'll stick it out a little more even though I don't like it. It'll give me a little more clearance. So let's tighten it up. If, we, if it fits, if we have clearance now. And it looks like we will. Just. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty close. I don't like it. I gotta have a little more. So, we'll get something a little bigger this time. Let's go with a uh, six millimeter hex key. That should work nicely. And it might be too big. Let's go to five. The other one was a four. So this this should do. But at least it'll keep it square and parallel and we won't have to indicate it. Just get it in there. Snug it up. Okay. Now we should have enough clearance. Yeah, we'll be good. Okay, um, so same basic drill. I'm just going to bring it in so this just overlaps. And touch it. Right there. Throw my axe. I'm going to back it off two thousandths. Throw my Y, I should say. Back it off two. One and a half, maybe. Throw it again. I'm going to come out and do the same for the OD. Just touching. Zero that. So now we should be good. Put a little bit of WD on there. I think that shows up. Yeah, it does. We'll just come over. Just 
stop right as the DRO gets to zero. It should be about one and a half to two thousandths before the tool touches the end of the surface there, which would leave a nasty mark. So we're good there. So this one's done inside and out. Um, I am going to just run a piece of uh, paper across it real quick. And, oh man, what happened to my finish there? What was rubbing on it? Something was rubbing. I don't know what I did, but I left a kind of a buggery finish on it. Well, like I said, it's going to get bead blasted. So we'll just uh, put a piece of paper down. Get that with a little 400 grit real quick, and then uh, change it, and I'll show you we can how fast the next one will go. And then there'll be enough of this. Get this out of there, and uh, we'll put our next one in. And it won't take very long to make, hopefully, if I don't screw up. Now that the tooling's all set up. Okay, here's our next one. Put it in the collet. Give it a little. Tool one, which I screwed up on, so I just gotta re zero that one really quick. Go back out to 250, and then we'll just part there, not part this off, but uh, face it off real quick, and then do our radiuses in high gear this time. Put our feet screw on. Feet rod. Okay, so our first stop. Change to our radius tool. Switch the DRO to tool two. Just come in here. This goes to go in far enough. This goes to zero. And we'll just come out until it gets to zero again. Slow it down. Radius is, is good. So now we switch it. Go to our outside radius tool. Switch it over to tool three. And if I didn't mess it up, just double check this, make sure I'm in the right place. It looks good. And we'll just come in until it's zero again.
About five thousandths to go. And there we go. That's how long it takes to do these once the tools are set up. So just hit this with a little paper. One more to go. snug in there. It's the only tricky part sometimes is getting them out. But I have a little tool for that. This is a clip off of a, a uh, uh, what do you call it, scale. But you can kind of work it in behind there and use that to sneak it out. There we go. get blasted off. All right, back on tool one. Go over to our zero. greatest finish for whatever reason. It's been doing better than that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, I'm going to sand it, sandblast it, beat blast it, I should say. Oh, that's my rounding tool. There it is. Alright, tool two. Check just to make sure nothing insane happened. Nope, we're good. Lock that. Put a little juice on it. And back it out. There we go. There's that. Third up, tool three. Touch it just to make sure we're good. And go. A little juice. thing about collets is they run really true so I can put these in there from the previous operations when I had them in the chuck and they still work all right so um, these are done get this one with a little paper and take them out and clean them up and put them in a bead blaster send them to the customer Always the 
hard part. Come on. There we go. Got it started. Of course, with WD-40 on it, it doesn't make it any easier, but stuff still works good on them. So anyway, that's it. Um, so there's three of these guys. There's a beat, clean them up, bead blast them. Those are good. Um, there is another set of these that'll that are uh, I'll show you actually I can do the outside of these these get a rectangular hole cut in them um, but they get the same outside radius so the cool part is I I can just actually I should get the outside radius and then that's it and then the rest is done in the mill and I might show that I've got a kind of a kind of a neat little jig for holding these uh, you could hold this in the same collet block or in the same um, step collet with the collet block but I actually made a dedicated tool for it so maybe I'll show that anyway I'm just gonna run these and get it get it done with make sure they're all we're all good here oh haven't got to face it so, gotta go back to operation one. Almost forgot. That would have been bad. So, anyway, um, I'll show that'll be it for this. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.